At five, a rare condition that left a University of Arizona student paralyzed overseas. Kara Dunn was unable to move or speak, leaving her stranded while she was on vacation in Spain. But she's back home now, and now we're hearing from her for the first for the first time. Team 12's Tramai takes a look at how she's recovering after this frightening ordeal. Kara Dunn thought she would never be able to walk again as she fought for her life. Even the doctors at Barra weren't sure that she'd make a full recovery, but she's proving that she's a fighter. Kara Dunn was in Spain on vacation for just three days when things started to go wrong. I had double vision. In the morning, I woke up and once I opened my eyes, I could no longer shut them. I couldn't smile and I could talk, but I couldn't feel anything in my mouth. I had the worst headache of my entire life. And within hours, her arms and legs were paralyzed. Dr. Christina Kwasnika says Kara was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare autoimmune condition that strikes one out of 100,000 people. Guillain-Barre syndrome is a um, neurologic condition in which the body is basically fighting against itself, against its nerves. Her brother Ryan and mom Dawn quickly flew to Spain to find Kara in ICU on a feeding tube and suffering from pneumonia. Nothing prepares you for seeing your family member on a ventilator, especially um, someone who's so strong. Strong enough to get back home and straight to Barrow Neurological Institute. When I first arrived at Barrow, I was still largely paralyzed and I could not even sit up on my own. But here I am walking with little assistance. Kara spends at least three hours of therapy every day. She's um, made remarkable progress, better than I had hoped for. Part of that is because she doesn't say no to any extra therapy thing. Kara wants to be a physician, and this experience has only strengthened her passion. I will have that same positivity in order to help my patients keep their spirits up. Now, Kara still has tingling and numbness in her hands and feet, but she's expected to leave the hospital next week and continue her therapy several times a week. Her goal is to be back to school next month. And of course, we wish her the very best. Tram I 12 News.